Physis is the oldest known dinosaur from North America. It is. Here is a large predator known as Herrerasaurus. Herrerasaurus is one of the largest predatory dinosaurs that lived in the Triassic period. It lived in what is now Argentina. Just a little over 200 million years ago, the Earth encountered another mass extinction. Believed to be caused by an increased period of volcanic activity, it caused the extinction of roughly 70% of life on Earth. This wiped out a lot of bigger animals at the time. What's that to do? big competitors, dinosaurs thrived. And in the Jurassic period, they quickly became the gargantuan creatures we think of when we hear the word. Captain Caleb here. Hope your auto insurance covers water damage because in order to get into the Jurassic period, we're diving deep into the Jurassic Ocean. The big show you see is a ammonite. Ammonites are cephalopods. That means they are relatives of the squid, octopus, and nautilus. Their spiral shells protected them from predators. Some shells. Here comes the big one. We can't forget about the squid. I just super giant! The giant! Wow. <laughs> he has no teeth! He has teeth! He has a ton of there! A second egg! He can just pick his tongue out! And my spider's crazy! Nothing comes to me! He's looking at you, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> boom! Boom on your head! Look at his short arm. It's like Look at his short arm. I'm so sorry for playing. I feel bad. Stegosaurus is a Jurassic plant eater. He can't clap. He's back. Look at his short arm. 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 Look at and I'm mad! Jurassic. <laughs> Allosaurus had long arms. I got fingers on the side. Big hooked claws. These could help it grip onto its prey while it used its serrated teeth as its primary weapon. We know it used its arms because scientists have found signs of micro. It's a baryonyx. And a movie, it's a out of this T Rex. It's a out of this tummy. A dream one. Since it lived in what is now England, as one of the Utah Raptors. Utah Raptor. Yeah, and the and the and the and the Yeah, it's part Ranger Martin again, and welcome to the early Cretaceous in Cincinnati. Just kidding, folks. Utah Raptor was found in Utah. Utah Raptor is the largest known member of the Raptor family. Now behind him, oh, oh, the oh, oh. everyone's there to hit me! He hit in that one! That tail just hit the other dinosaur. But it is thought to be a member of the Allosauridae group. Yay! That is so T Rex! He had teeth! Spinosaurus is a creature that was a mystery for a long time. Its fossils were discovered in 1912. He had a picture right there! 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 He
Yet another dinosaur from Mongolia is the large Therizinosaurus you see here, with the long claws. They're closely related to it. The only fossils we have of this animal are its shoulders, arms, and hands. It is believed to be an herbivore, but we are still looking for more fossils to know for sure. The dinosaur next to it is a Lorocerus as display structures, but may also have been used in some brachiosaurs as resonating chambers to make sounds used to communicate effectively through the herd. Speaking of Marty here. Oh, Terry! You're not mad at me about accidentally releasing the T-Rexes. Anyway, in this scene, you see Shantrosaurus. Chantosaurus is a Tyrannosaur from Athena, so and it's closely related to Aliorhamus from Mongolia. Both have relatively long, narrow noses from members of the Tyrannosaurus family. Oh. We're not sure what those noses Boys. may have been used for. Maybe to cut through water, making them faster, more accurate fishermen, or maybe... Now, scientists don't want to... Ah! So there's still a lot of financial questions about it. But I can tell you this much. In the United States, we do not typically refer to this dinosaur. A dinosaur! Typically to us call it Pinocchio. Now we travel to Argentina. The big animal you see in this scene is Giganotosaurus. Argentina is the largest living dinosaur. Though it may look a lot like T-Rex, it's actually a much different animal. Unlike a T-Rex, it has three claws on each ear, a lighter bone structure, and teeth that were designed to slice. Unlike a T-Rex, which means meat-eating bull, because of peculiar horns on its head. It might have used its horns as a weapon against other predators. And the T-Rex is probably going to be last. It's a very funny-looking dinosaur. Not just because of its ah! arms, but because of its tiny little arms. Baby arms. Carnotaurus has one of the smallest arms of any known dinosaur. Look at this guy. Even smaller than the T-Rex. Look at this guy. The small dinosaur you see in this scene is Alversaurus, a small, fast predator that lived in Argentina during the late Cretaceous period. His oh, it looks like a chicken. Look at his head. Insects. Ew. To the duck bill dynasty. The dinosaur with the long crest on the back of its head is called Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolophus is a hadrosaur, a family of dinosaurs that are called duck bill dinosaurs because of the shape of their tails. Other hadrosaurs include Iguanodon, Aranosaurus, Allura Titan, and Edmontosaurus, among many others. By the way, hadrosaurs are prey animals. Their sound might have attracted large predators. If our missing T Rexes hear that sound coming from one of your cars, they might be following the tour back in the direction of their cage. So perhaps we should um, move. Because he was doing everything possible to be as possible, including yeah. having very hollow bones. This is a very large T Rex. Now, if you have any other questions about the creatures you see, go ahead and text that question. I know. Who's going to have a. Oh, yeah. Lose his tail. Look at his tail. 6-4. There are two families of ceratopsians. Chasmosaurians and Cephalosaurians. Now, Chasmosaurians have two prominent eye horns above their eyes and a very large plural. Cephalosaurians do not typically have prominent eye horns and tend to have a plural. But sometimes they have some rather ornate horns. I want to have a trout. 
or any dinosaur, you can text your question. The bits of bones on their skin called osteoderms. What? They are known What's that? as a bony club tail. <gasps> There's a T-Rex! No, no, as a no, weapon no, no. to deter predators. Go back in the house. Scientists have even found a T-Rex fossil no, with a broken no, leg that was shattered no, no. at about the same height as an Ankylosaurus no. tail club. This suggests that Ankylosaurus no. could fight off a T-Rex. And possibly the even the implications for the next dinosaur is Draco Rex Hogwartsia. And if that sounds like something from a Harry oh, Potter book, that's because it's from a Harry Potter book. The name actually means Dragon King of Hogwarts because its skull looked a lot like the skull of a dragon. There are some who think that as this dinosaur. T Rex is in with the Triceratops' <laughs> pen and he's eating the Triceratops. Oh no, folks, this is terrible. That's my favorite Triceratops. Lisa, we've located the missing T Rex. Lisa, do you copy? Oh no, this is terrible. Well, since we're here, Triceratops is an herbivore from the end of the Cretaceous period. That's the same time and place that T Rex lived. Now, Triceratops means three horn face for pretty obvious reasons. Scientists used to think that Triceratops used the frill on the back. Used lizard. And Kylosaurus was on. And if that sound offended its neck from T Rex, that seems like it would make a lot of sense. But there's actually. I think they're way bigger. Megalodon is the largest shark to ever swim the seas. It is believed to reach up to 60 feet in length and had rows of hundreds of teeth. These teeth would sometimes fall out and be replaced with new teeth, similar to sharks today. Megalodon teeth have been found on every continent, including Antarctica. For centuries, these teeth were thought to be the petrified tongues of dragons and